the woman at the center of a viral video who claimed a man threw a brick at her head because she would not give him her phone number is now wanted by Houston police. This story got national attention after that woman live streamed what she claimed was the aftermath on Instagram and started a GoFundMe. CP artists in the house. All right, I'm going to get straight to it. I am an idiot for making that video a couple of months ago about the, the brick lady. So, months later, we find out that she lied about the whole thing. We told you so. We told you so. Yeah, all right. You told us. All right. So, internet investigators and detectives, you won. You freaking won. Man, I feel like an idiot. She told the detective that responded that she was hit in the head with a brick after she refused to give her phone number to a guy on the street. And was that verified by any of the evidence that detectives looked at? No. That was not verified. Harris County Prosecutor Keith Houston says surveillance videos from that early September morning show Osmond hitting a man first. I'm never the type to believe all women. I'm just not, you know? I just was like, all right, you know, those people coming out of the woodwork say they was there, this and that, what reason this, da, da, da. I, I took the position of, you know, chivalry was dead and so forth and so on. Yes, I knew all the stuff that she was saying on the internet prior to, um, you know, this coming up. And I didn't care. I didn't think any woman should get hit by a brick. And I stand by that. I stand that, you know, women should not be hit. However, this whole story was a freaking lie. Like an idiot. I fell for it and made a YouTube video about it. But you know what? I'm man enough to say I messed up. I'll take the L for it. Prosecutors allege theft by deception and believe she would have received all that money had the campaign not been shut down. The violence that I have suffered since September 3rd is just unbelievable. I can't even believe I'm here. They try to leave me for dead. In an Instagram story posted Wednesday, Osman addressed those who have doubted her. I actually have things going on in my life. I actually have real ways to make money. I don't have to get a GoFundMe for money. I actually can earn income because I'm actually educated and I actually am talented. And tonight, a spokesperson for GoFundMe telling KPRC2 GoFundMe has zero tolerance for the misuse of our platform. The fundraiser has been removed from the platform. All donors have been refunded and Rhoda Osman has been banned from using the platform for any future fundraisers. Osman did not respond when I reached out to her on Instagram this evening. Tonight, she is wanted here in Harris County on that theft charge. Anyone with information on her whereabouts can report that to Houston police. I had to, I was on freaking... Uh, another YouTube, you know, live, you know, defending, you know, my position on it back then. And then I was called a simp and I was called this, that, and the third, you know what I mean? Out my name and a freaking dude, a loser. He, he did a two hour uh, live video on my comments, and all that other stuff. I, I, and, you know, all because of this chick, nah, man, Brick Lady is a fraud. And I'm, I'm, I'm hope she's prosecuted because we need less of this. There's too many men being falsely accused. Uh, we see the Jonathan Majors, you know, situation. He's, you know, still lost his job, probably going to lose millions, you know what I'm saying, over um, allegations, you know what I mean? If you're a man, you, you can't live with allegations, allegations alone, without, you know, it being on you for the rest of your life. And you got women like this, you know, just making allegations and, and using buzzwords and so forth and so on and stay and sticking with the lie. That's another thing too. She's sticking with the lie that just makes society more messed up. Listen, wise man said there's, you know, there's three sides of a, of a story, your side, my side, and the truth. And listen, a lot of people are innocent until proven guilty, but we don't say that much. I think the only side that we should follow is the truth and get all the information that we need before we do stupid videos like I did, but it is what it is. Feel me? CP the artist 